I'm, I, I should think I'm definitely faster than Johan Blake. We train together and I think he's gonna do wonderful things this season. Johan Blake was many years the strongest competitor of Usain Bolt. He is the second fastest man of all time. Multiple injuries in 2013 and 2014 kept him away to run on such a high level. This season, 2022, he ran faster than in the last 10 years. But let's start from the beginning. Johann Blake was born on the 26th of December 1989 in St. James Parish. Johann's big breakthrough was in 2009. He ran the first time under 10 seconds over 100 meter. But the results got cancelled because he was tested positive to a stimulant. The drug was not banned on the list of the World Anti-Doping Agency, but the structure was very similar. So Blake got a 3 month ban. In 2010, Johan had his official breakthrough as a sprinter. 12th of June, Johan ran wind aided 991 at the Adidas Grand Prix in New York. Richard Thompson won that race in a time of 989. Two months later, on the 13th of August, Blake ran an outstanding personal record in a time of 989 in London. The winner was Tyson Gay in a phenomenal time of 978. In the same year, he also improved his personal best over 200 meter from 2060 to 1978 in Monaco, France. The 200 meter race won again Tyson Gay in an outstanding time of 1972. As you know, Usain ran the world record over 100 meter and 200 meter in Berlin 2009. Everybody was hyped to see another fast Jamaican sprinter. People didn't get disappointed in 2011. In the semi final over 100 meter at the World Champs in Daegu, South Korea, Johan Blake ran the fastest time with 9.95. Usain Bolt won his semi final in a time of 10.05. The tension was high, the two training partner are rivals now. The beast Johan versus world record holder Usain. We will never know how the race would have turned out. Usain did a 4 start and got disqualified. Johan Blake won his first world championship title in a time of 9.92. 11th of September, Johan Blake improved his personal best again over 100 meter in a time of 9.82 in Berlin. The 16th of September was mind blowing for every track and field fan. The beast showed the performance over 200 meter nobody would expect. As I already mentioned, Johan's personal best over 200 meter was 1978. In Brussels, he improved it by more than a half a second to a phenomenal time of 1926. This is just 7 one hundredths of a second slower than Usain Bolt's world record. He ran the second fastest time in history. Unbelievable. And tonight I was looking for the 19.5 and I got it. You know, first and foremost, I'll be glad thanks, but. I was expecting something fast, but not this fast. In 2012, Johan Blake improved his personal best over 100 meter in 9.75. At the Jamaican trials, he beat Usain Bolt, who ran 9.86. Blake got another victory over 200 meter in a time of 19.80. Bolt on the other side ran 19.83. Surprisingly, Blake was the favorite going into the Olympic Games 2012 in London. We all know Usain Bolt. It was probably a good motivation that he got beat two times. At the Olympics, Usain took the win over 100 meter and 200 meter. Johan Blake got silver two times. The 4x1 relay team of Jamaica wrote history at the Olympic Games. In an outstanding race, the Jamaican ran a new world record in a time of 36.84. In the year 2012, Johan Blake had another crazy race in Lausanne, Switzerland. In a phenomenal race, he stormed to the finish line in a time of 9.69. Johan Blake is now the second fastest man in history, together with Tyson Gay, who ran also 9.69. Everybody was excited to see how the 22-year-old Johan was able to run in the next years. As always, everybody is talking about new world records and Johan was the top contender to attack these crazy times. In spring 2013, Johan Blake suffered from an injury which kept him away from competing. In his comeback year 2014, he started solid into the season in Kingston with a time of 10.02. Over 200 meter, he also ran a season best of 20.48 in Lausanne, Switzerland. 11th of July 2014, Johan Blake was ready to show his class in Glasgow, but his body didn't let him. Johan Blake injured himself again and couldn't finish his race. That's the second year in a row that Johan couldn't do a full season. That's very tough for this young talented athlete. In 2015, he had another setback. Johan Blake didn't qualify himself for the World Championships in Beijing. The Olympic year 2016 was a lot better for him. After winning the Jamaican trials, he qualified himself for the Olympic Games in Rio. Over 100 meter, Blake placed fourth in a time of 9.93. Over 200 meter, he missed the final with a time of 20.37. It's good to see that Johan is coming back after his injury, but he is still far away from his old shape from 2012 and 2013. His biggest success in the Olympic season 2016 was the gold medal with the 4x1 relay team. In 2017, Johan Blake showed a solid performance and got fourth at the World Championships in London in a time of 9.99. Over 200 meter, he didn't make it to the final. You probably remember the 4x1 relay team of Jamaica didn't finish the race because of the injury of Usain Bolt. It was a very tragic last race of the legend. At the World Championships 2019, he got fifth in a time of 9.97. Over 200 meter, Johan Blake missed the final again. When we compare the times, we can see that Johan is still more than two tenths of a second away from his personal best over 100 meter, and even more than a half a second away from his personal best over 200 meter. He is still a world class athlete, and many sprinters wish they could run sub 10 and sub 20. 
But when we see how fast Johan was in 2011 and 2012, it's for sure a little bit sad. It also shows how physical tough sprinting is. Even when you are a super strong athlete, the body is not built for running so fast. In the Olympic year 2021 in Tokyo, Johan had another disappointment. He couldn't make it to the final over 100 meter. And the Jamaican relay team didn't medal with the fourth place. In 2022 at the Jamaican trials, the 32 year old Johan Blake showed his best performance over 100 meter of the last 10 years. He won the Jamaican trials over 100 meter in a great time of 985. It looked like Johan is back in shape, but in Eugene at the World Championships he only ran 10-12 at the semi-final, which was not fast enough to make it to the final. Over 200 meter he raced in the heats 2032 and did not start in the semi-final. The Jamaican relay team made another fourth place, which was for sure not satisfying. Johan Blake is one of the greatest sprinter ever. His 100 meter time of 969 and a 200 meter time of 1926 stays as an unforgotten memory. It's very sad that the two years of injuries changed the progression of his career. Johan is such a powerful athlete, he is still fighting for his dreams. This year showed that he can still run sub 99 over 100 meter and maybe he can improve in the next year at the World Championships in Hungary. What do you think? Is Johan Blake able to get back in his old shape? Let me know in the comments. If you missed the outstanding performance of Marcel Jacobs at the European Championships 2022 in Munich, click up in the right corner. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.